Hello, this is James Carney, and I am here showing you my uh, little game I've been working on in my spare time uh, called Kardashev. Uh, let's go ahead and maximize on play so we can kind of get a nice scene going here. So again, this is a little game that I've uh, been creating in my spare time. Uh, a lot of the inspiration for this is taken from Terra Genesis. Um, I'll be honest, it needs a lot of work. Um, I have a whole research screen here that I have yet to really hook up. And uh, it'll unlock a lot of different buildings. You can come over here to construction. Um, you can build different mines. I haven't hooked up these mines. This is still uh, a lot of tweaking that needs to be going on here. But we have some buildings, and all these buildings right now are hooked up uh, to do different things. So, you know, if we come over here and create a factory, do a power plant, farm, do a national park, uh, come back over here, we'll, oh, looks like we, we, we killed our, our uh, planet here. So, um, <laughs> uh, let's see, we'll go to play. This may not work. I haven't, uh. I actually haven't checked it out from the very beginning. I've been doing a lot of work on the main game level, uh, but I haven't tied in all of it. So we came actually we came across a bug right there. So let's start off with uh, a national park and then we'll build a factory. Oh, okay. So there's obviously some more bugs that I need to work out here. Um, restart. Yep, yeah, it's going to take us back there. Obviously, a lot of work that needs to be done here. Let's see if I can pop open some of my uh, coding and disable that real quick so I can actually show you some more of the stuff going on. Um, so a lot of this, uh, I've pretty much coded all of this myself. I've had a lot of help, gone through some YouTube tutorials and stuff, but um, kind of all self-taught, right? Uh, even the C-sharp, I've, I've only had very minimal schooling when it comes to C-sharp. I did a little bit of Java back in the day when I was uh, back in college, um, but that was really it. I didn't do C-sharp until I started, you know, messing around in Unity and stuff. Uh, so that's, that's really the extent of my experience, uh, a couple of years working in Unity on C-sharp. But we have the buildings I was mentioning. The buildings uh, will continuously produce resources, and it's kind of like a resource management game. The whole goal of the game is to mm, produce uh, a certain amount of energy to where your society would be considered a level one on the Kardashev scale. So that being the goal, we have to um, manage our growth in different areas to make sure that we don't kill our planet and that we can still sustain ourselves on into the future, right? Uh, so I would like to put a, um, a couple things in there. I'd like to tie a Wikipedia page in to let people know what uh, a Kardashev scale even is there we go so we'll disable the game over screen briefly here let's just save that and we'll come back over here to unity and we'll hit play okay oh wait we need to let everything compile i always forget about that Okay, so again, we have construction. We can come over here. We can build a bunch of buildings. You know, we um, we have a disaster mechanic as well that will randomly pop up. You might see it pop up. Um, come down here to the power grid, and we can kind of see where our stats are. We've got two factories that should be pumping out about 120 uh, income every minute. Uh, I'm sorry, 120 income every second, which... Uh, I would have to do the math to make sure that that's all happening. Uh, it should be, but again, I want to go through and tweak some of the things here. 
So we see we've got two power plants producing 120 energy a second. This is going up. Uh, it should be maintained or uh, whenever we have factories and other things coming online, uh, they will start to sap that power grid so that we, uh, we're not producing energy as quickly uh, with more, uh, more buildings and stuff that we have. Um, so, oh, I see uh, <laughs> another bug right here. It's, it's two farms, not two factories. Um, there's things in here like fuel as well. Fuel is, is a resource that I thought up because, well, when you're dealing with space and stuff, fuel is pretty important. Um, and fuel may not even be unlocked until you have the ability for space flight, uh, and then we might take that more into account. Uh, it tied into the, oh, we have, we had to pay 354 for an accident, so we'll close that. The, the disaster mechanic is, uh, oh, we won. Um, oh, you know what? I have the, uh, I have the amount set to a very small limit here. This number, as you can see, should be quite considerable. Let's see, what, what is this number, really? got a comma here, a comma here, there, there, and there. So that's what? Million, billion, a trillion, uh, what, gazillion? So it's it's a lot of it's a lot of watts, because these are supposed to be watts. Watts of energy. Um, so once we are producing, you know, that much energy per second. I, I'm going to check and see if we need to do that as a raw calculation or if we're going to calculate the real energy as it is after all of the um, all of the factories and things that are going to be sapping that energy uh, do their thing. So just uh, just as an example, I'm still messing around with some of the, uh, the decreases and stuff like that, but uh, every 10 seconds we should have our biome decreasing, or every, excuse me, every one second. Uh, I thought I changed that, but I think we're going to go with the one second to make sure that all of our text is updated uh, appropriately. So, and I'll have to find that bug um, that I'm, I saw. <laughs> see if I can remember it when I uh, actually get it uh, get to do some coding and stuff uh, but we have some other things too in here like uh, I want to do a whole thing about government types like we can have different government types which will provide different bonuses and that um, means also that we can pass different laws and stuff that will have an effect on the buildings and things like upkeep as well um, and that's all kind of tied into the research. You know, the research will unlock some of those things as we progress through the tech tree. Uh, and then we have, you know, orbit. You know, once we do get the ability to build things into orbit, uh, you'll be able to click on the orbit button and we'll have a whole bunch of buildings or in this case, satellites that you can build up in orbit there. Um, so this is what I have so far. I even have a, a little store in here by my shit. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's kind of practice. Uh, I haven't. This is this is my first app or game that I've really built. Um, you know, I want to make sure that I can provide uh, a good, rich customer experience. And having an in-game an in-game store seems to be pretty much par for the course in terms of uh, mobile stuff nowadays. So um, even if all I have for sale is, you know in-game money, premium credits, and a time rush, if I even allow those in the game, we'll see. Um, right now, they're not coded. They're just in there as placeholders, which a lot of this artwork and these buttons and stuff are all placeholders. Uh, they will be updated. Uh, the Goblars would be the premium currency. That's kind of an inside joke. Um, I might tell that story one day. But uh, So this, this is an inside look at Kardashev, and um, if you want to support the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, uh, drop me a line, send me some feedback with what you think. Um, and again, I'm always looking for that feedback. So if you have any ideas that you'd like to pass my way, uh, you know, we can 
try to implement them, try to talk about them. Uh, and maybe on a live feed, I might actually go through and do some game uh, design, game development on a live feed. So uh, that's just what I'm working on currently. Uh, give people kind of a look at what I've been doing. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Have a great one.